The family of a man killed in downtown Youngstown early Sunday morning is speaking out about what happened and the reason they feel he was killed. Yarnell Green, better known as Yaya to his family and friends, was shot outside of O'Donnell's around 1.40 a.m., just a few days before he was set to appear in court. Back in September 2020, Green was the victim of a fatal robbery where five people were shot, including four-year-old Rowan Sweeney, who did not survive. Green and three other adults survived the attack, and Green's sister says he was scheduled to appear in a court case in connection to that shooting. She questions whether or not this had something to do with why her brother was killed. Y'all robbed my brother's life. Blair tells me that the night Green was killed, he was inside of O'Donnell's bar, which is this bar right behind me. She says someone inside was arguing with him, and so he began to exit the building. As he was walking out, another person came from behind him and shot him multiple times just outside. Green fell, but he quickly got up and actually tried to run away. He made it just a few feet down before he collapsed again. Blair says he was taken to the hospital, and he was actually revived several times. Blair said she had to break the news to his three kids. I had to tell them, the only way you're going to see your daddy is in heaven, but you will see him again in a box because he was robbed his life. I asked God to teach me how to live without my baby, but I thank God for giving me 32 years. You'll never take my memories. You'll never take the love of a mother of her child from me. Blair says Green was a barber, a father of three, worked in a restaurant, and ever since the 2020 shooting was working to recover physically and mentally. It's not his fault they came in there and did that. He didn't know they was going to rob him. He didn't know that that baby was going to get killed. He's a dad, and he loved him. He loved him. Police have made an arrest in the shooting. 23-year-old Johnny Serrano has been charged with murder. Police also state that there are other parties involved. For now, they're continuing their investigation and say anyone who has any information is encouraged to reach out to them, and we put that information in the article below. In Youngstown, Jennifer Rodriguez, WKBN 27 First News.